It all starts with sheets of solid steel up to three and a half centimeters thick and an automated machine with an oxygen and gas-fueled flame. The flame slowly cuts the plates that will form the walls of the safe. The cutting creates gases that are doused with water. A welder with a manual version of the same flame frees up the plates with a few last cuts. Then, using a large magnet, they stack the plates. Each one is labeled so the workers will know in what order to assemble them. They're assembled by a welder who uses a semi-automatic soldering gun. The solder is a special welding wire made of several different metals. It rolls off a spool as needed. Elsewhere in the factory, a semi-automatic saw cuts flat bars of steel. These bars will form the frame that'll surround the steel plates. Meanwhile, another machine, called a turret, fashions steel bars into moving parts for the locking mechanism, and also into hinges. That milky liquid is a lubricant. Normally, you see raw material move on an assembly line from tool to tool. This is just the opposite. The steel bar stays on the turret from start to finish. The tools come and go. take pieces of sheet metal cut into shapes by laser and bend them in a press to make various parts and mechanisms. Meanwhile, the large steel plates they cut earlier go into a hydraulic press to make them perfectly flat. It's finally time to put all the components together. They construct the frame in an assembly jig, then insert the plates for the sides, top and bottom. Using the semi-automatic soldering gun again, they fuse the pieces together. They measure the angles, then use a giant clamp to square the safe. Finally, they install the plate for the back of the safe and solder the joints. They stand the safe upright and grind down the soldering lines until they're smooth. This factory also produces what's called a composite safe, made of soft materials such as copper, aluminum and low-grade steel. But it has a cement core, making this safe harder to break into. The finished safe gets three coats of paint. Then in the finishing department, they install the mechanical or electronic locks and locking mechanisms, as well as the internal time lock mechanism. The time lock allows access to the safe only at certain times of day, such as the bank's business hours. Even if someone picks the outside combination locks, the door won't open outside those set hours.